warm welcome to Tech Mac TV News Bulletin. I'm Ellen Ochad and in stories making the headlines. A government headed for a shutdown with workers' unions. A basic commodities disappear from Zimbabwean shop shelves. Harare woman faces cyberbullying charges. And in business, ICT minister hails customer-centric services. And in tech news, Potras clears air on Starlink. Zimbabwean retailers are struggling to restock locally produced goods using the local unit as manufacturers and are turning them away in favor of those that pay in the United States dollars. The, the failure by retailers to procure in local currency comes as the Zim dollar has experienced a sharp depreciation against the U.S. dollar amid calls for the re-dollarization of the economy. Retailers say that they have gone for weeks without the supply of locally produced basic commodities and warned of critical shortages of some products such as sugar. Confederation of Zimbabwe Retailers President Denford Mutashu said the supply chain of basic commodities had dollarized, leaving retailers who buy in local currency in a lurch. Government and its employees are heading for a showdown as workers' unions are increasingly frustrated by the lack of progress in negotiations for a salary review amid the deteriorating economic environment. The deteriorating environment has been worsened by the depreciation of the local currency against the dollar, fueling a rise in the price of basic commodities and services. In a statement yesterday, the Zimbabwe Congress for Public Sector Trade Unions expressed its frustration over deteriorating economic conditions and a lack of progress on salary negotiations. Civil servants are currently earning a minimum of 350 US dollars per month plus a local currency allowance. A Harare woman is currently facing cyberbullying charges after appearing before Harare Magistrates Court. Beauty Tembeni 29 was brought before the court on Monday for allegedly sending psychological harmful content via Instagram, Facebook, and WhatsApp to Lavlin Zigora, the wife of her alleged boyfriend, Tawanda Zigora. In 2023, Tembeni allegedly sent messages to Zigora claiming she was pregnant with her husband, Ronald Tawanda Zigora. It is reported that Tembeni was expecting to marry Tawanda early in the year, and all preparations for the wedding were made. However, Tawanda did not show up for the wedding date, which upset Tembeni. She then expressed a disappointment on social media, posting a video of her kissing Tawanda and tagging his daughter who had recently got married. This prompted Lavlin Zigora to report the situation to the authorities. The case has been postponed to March 20, 2024. And now in business news, Information Communication Technology Minister Tatena Mavetera implored network operators in the sector to prioritize customer-centric services that ensure that consumers have access to efficient, affordable, and consistent connectivity. Speaking at the inaugural Zimbabwe Annual Telecommunications Conference yesterday, the ICT minister noted that operators in the sector must adopt customer-centric approaches, especially when pricing products such as data. It's, it's quite important for us to engage and for us to collaborate. For us to achieve Vision 2030, it's a collaborative effort. It's not about one individual doing it. So what we need to do is for us to be able to sit down to hear what uh, the citizens are saying. We need to be able to understand what their concerns and also be able to appreciate their expectations. And we are happy that the telcos are here. And what we then need to do is for us to then be able to hear what everyone else is saying. And then we come up uh, to then be able to even provide policies that are also uh, citizen-centric. For us as ministry, we believe that we also need to work together with our telcos companies and be able to come up with sound policies, sound engagements, which I think will be able to propel uh, the teleco, uh, the, the, the sector to a greater level. The Poster and Telecommunications Regulatory Authority of Zimbabwe yesterday says its doors are open for Starlink to operate in Zimbabwe following an expression of interest by the United States headquartered company to set up its internet services in the country. The Telecoms Regulatory Board said Zimbabwe, under the Second Republic, is committed to ensuring universal and affordable internet connectivity for all citizens. In a statement, Potras Director General Dr. Gift Machengete said the authority has no intention to block Starlink, but awaits an application from the company which is owned by 
Elon Musk. Dr. Machengete added that anyone found using Starlink in Zimbabwe will be in breach of the law and will face consequences as the service has not been licensed to operate in the country. Uh, that was all we had on this news bulletin. For more of these stories, do follow us on techmeg.tv. Thank you for watching.